Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Double Reward. Inshallah, we're learning how to read the Quran and we're learning Ahkam al Tajweed. Today's surah has a very special historical background. And today's surah is Surah Al Fil. In the year 570, the king Abraha, who was a king in Yemen, he built a shrine. And he began wanting to get the pilgrims that are going to Mecca, he wanted to divert them to his shrine. So instead of going to the Kaaba, the house built by Abraham all that time ago, he wanted them to go to his shrine. So what he did was, he prepared an army. And in that army, there was an elephant. So he marched with his army to destroy al Kaaba, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had an army ready for him too. But it wasn't an army of men. It was an army of birds in the sky. They came and they pelted stones at the soldiers and they vanquished, w vanquished them. This story is very captivatingly told in Surah Al-Fil. Let's listen and see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Have you not seen how your Lord dealt with the owners of the elephant? Did he not make their plot go astray and sent against them birds and flocks, striking them with stones of baked clay and made them like an empty field of stalks? So you see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us that he has all different kinds of armies. And no one knows the armies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but him. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect his home, protect his house, the Kaaba. And he will not let anyone come to it to destroy it or come, at, come to it with any ill intent. Let's practice the surah insha'Allah together. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabi al fil. Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabi al fil. أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلِ أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلِ وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلِ وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلِ تَرْمِيهِمْ بِحِجَارَةٍ مِنْ سِجِّيلِ تَرْمِيهِمْ فجعلهم كعصف مأكول فجعلهم كعصف مأكول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل أَلَمْ تَرَ كَيْفَ فَعَلَ رَبُّكَ بِأَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلِ أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلِ وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلِ وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلِ ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول فجعلهم كعصف مأكول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول فجعلهم كعصف مأكول الحمد لله رب العالمين Okay, let's uh, practice that uh, surah yani individually, inshallah. Ahmed, are you ready? Yes. Inshallah. Okay, go ahead. Why don't you read that for us? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al fil. Alam yaj'al kaydahum fi tadlil. Wa arsal alayhim tayran ababil. Tarmihim bi hijaratim min sijil. فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَعَصْفٍ مَأْكُولٍ Okay, that's very good. Uh, let's go over that surah um, verse by verse and so we can work on it, inshallah. Okay. Uh, start from the very first verse. أَلَمْ تَرَ كَيْفَ فَعَلَ رَبُّكَ بِأَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ Go ahead, read it. أَلَمْ تَرَ كَيْفَ فَعَلَ رَبُّكَ بِأَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ Okay, uh, this word أَصْحَاب Okay, it has a sod sound. Oh, not a scene. scene. Exactly. Okay. So say أَلَمْ تَرَ كَيْفَ فَعَلَ رَبُّكَ بِأَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ Okay. أَلَمْ تَرَ كَيْفَ فَعَلَ رَبُّكَ بِأَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ That's a little better. Okay, the next verse. أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلِ Okay, let's uh, practice the qalqala there. Okay. okay. It's أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ Okay. Can you do that? أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ يَجْعَلْ ألم يجع. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't you practice it with me? Okay. يجعل. 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 Good. Say it. ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل. Okay, that's very good. But that first letter in that verse ترميهم. This is a تاء. Okay, okay, not a ta. Okay. So try to make it uh, more clear. Tarmihim. Tarmihim bi hijaratim min sijil. Fajalahum kaasfin makkul. Okay, but we don't say uh, the correct pr- pronunciation is not. Fajalahum kaasfin tarmihim bi hijara. The correct pronunciation is tarmihim bi hijara. Okay. Can you do that for us? ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل. very good إن شاء الله. good job أحمد. thank you. إن شاء الله. أسامة، uh, can you read that for us؟ إن شاء الله. okay go ahead. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل؟ ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل؟ وأرسل عليهم طير أبابيل؟ ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل. okay hold up there. تر ترميهم بحجارة. ترميهم بحجارة. I'll tell you what. That meme sound. I want you to open your mouth up. Okay. ترميهم ب. ترميهم ب. Good job. Excellent. That's a very hard sound to make. Very good. Okay. Go ahead. ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل. فجعلهم كعصف مأكول. Okay, mashallah, أحسن. That was a very good recitation, mashallah. Okay. You know, we still got to work on some aspects of it, but mashallah, it's very good. Um, let's have another reading here. Uh, Firdos, can you read it for us? Inshallah. Go ahead. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل 
Firdos, can we hear the qalqala a little bit stronger? Yaja. Alam yaj'al. Okay, yaja. Alam yaj. That's a little bit better. Let's practice it together. Yaja'al. Yaja'al. Let's do that all of us together here in the studio. Yaja'al. 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 Okay, go ahead. Alam yaj'al kaydahum fi tadlil. وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٌ تَرْمِيهِمْ بِهِجَارَةٍ مِنْ سِجِّيلٌ Okay, hold up there. Uh, again, that same thing uh, that I so told Ahmed. The correct way to say that is تَرْمِيهِمْ بِهِجَارَةٍ تَرْمِيهِمْ بِهِجَارَةٍ I'll tell you what. What you need to do is, this is a very hard rule. Inshallah, we're going to talk about that after we come back from the break. What you need to do is you need to open your mouth a little bit. I know it's kind of uh, tricky and challenging, but uh, it's very important to do. Okay, also the ha sound. Okay, um, there's a difference between the ha sound and the ha sound. Okay, so we want to hear you say. Okay, that's better. Continue on, really? Yeah. Tarumihim bihijaratim min sijil. Okay, let's uh, practice that. You can repeat after me. And Tarumihim bihijarah. Tarumihim bihijarah. Can I hear the ha sound? Bihijarah. Hijarah. Okay, very good, mashallah. Um, Fairuz, can you uh, can you read that for us too? Sure. Go ahead. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil fil. أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلِ وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلِ تَرْمِيهِمْ بِحِجَارَةٍ مِّنْ سِجِّيلِ فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَأَصْفٍ مَأْكُولِ Okay, very good. جزاكم الله خيراً. Okay, inshallah, when we come back, we're going to talk about tarumihim bihijara. We're going to look at that hukm, inshallah. But when we come back from the break. Assalamu alaikum, we hope to see you soon. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about a very important hukm or rule. We're going to be talking about iqlab. Now, when you have a nun as or a tanween followed by a ba, something very interesting happens to the nun sound. It switches and it turns into a half mim. That's why it's called iqlab. Iqlab means to switch. And that really is an extraordinary thing. It isn't quite often when a letter um, changes, into an, changes from sounding from one sound to the sound of another letter. So we have a case of switched identity. Let's look at some examples. Let's look at some examples that will illustrate what we're talking about. Uh, the first thing is we need to look at um, the noon sakina followed by the letters of iqlab, which fortunately are just one letter. And you see that inshallah. After that, let's look at some examples that will really illustrate what we're talking about. It's very useful when we're learning Tajweed to ask ourselves a very important question. What would happen to this word if I wasn't applying the hukm? How would the word sound? If I knew how the word sounds without the rule, then I apply the rule, I can understand the difference. I can see the effect of the rule. And that's what we're going to do. 
we're going to pronounce the word as it would be pronounced outside of the Qur'an, and then we're going to pronounce the word with tajweed to illustrate the difference. Are you guys ready? Yes, yes. inshallah. Okay. Is that clear now why we're going to be uh, talking about, uh, why we're going to be pronouncing the word without tajweed? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, th yeah, okay. So the goal is, like I said, to illustrate the rule. So for the sake of illustration, we're going to take the, the hukum of tajweed out. We're not going to apply the rule. We're going to see, oh, I see. This word sounds like this. With the rule, it sounds like this. Therefore, I understand the difference between them. Okay? Now, uh, the first example is anbatna. This word is usually pronounced anbatna. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Um, Usama, can you hear, what letter do you hear after the noon? In anbatna. Ba. Exactly. That means that the rule of iqlab applies. So the next question is now, how do we say it? How do we pronounce it correctly? The correct way to say it is anbatna. Okay? So uh, repeat after me, Usama. Anbatna. Anbatna. Okay, now the temptation, the very strong temptation will be to close your lips. Okay? But that's what we want to avoid. You want to part your lips a little bit. Let's say it all together, all of us. Anbatna. 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 Okay, now remember Osama, we were talking in the very beginning, we said that iqlab uh, is when the letter switches, instead of sounding like a noon, it sounds like a meme. Yes. But we said it was a half meme. The reason why it's a half meme is because we don't close our mouth. If we closed our mouth completely, that would be a full meme, and that's not what we're looking for. Okay? Okay. Good. Let's look at another example. Uh, the next example is usually pronounced anbi'uni. Okay, let's ask a question. Uh, Ahmed, mm -hmm. what do you hear after the noon in anbi'uni? The ba. Very good. So what rule applies here? Um. Can you describe the rule for me? Maybe if you can't remember the name, maybe you can describe it for me. Yeah, uh, you... Uh, kind of silence the noon. That's right, and we switch it into and a ba. And switch it to the ba. Okay, let's yeah. practice the name of this thing. Let's say it all together. Iqlab. 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 Okay, so uh, after the noon, you have a ba, so a ba sound. Let's also practice how this is uh, correctly pronounced. Anbi'uni. 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 Very good. Uh, let's move on to our next example. Uh, this next example is usually pronounced man bakhila. But inshallah, because after the noon we have a ba, we're going to say. Repeat after me. Okay. Now we now we now know how to find iqlab. We look for a noon sakina followed by a ba. But there's another way. There's another hint. If you look in the Mus'haf and you know how to find it, it'll help you to, to know where Iqlab is. And that is a meme, okay? And you can see that meme on top of the noon. That, that meme, with a little tail hanging down, means that Iqlab applies here. So you've got two ways to tell. You can tell, actually three. You can tell by your ear. You can listen to the sound, and after a while, inshallah, you'll be able to say, oh yes, that's Iqlab. You can tell by looking at the two letters and comparing them. Hmm, I have a noon here and I have a bat. And you can tell by looking at that meme. That will tell you that iqlab applies here. Let's look at uh, another example. This uh, uh, example is usually pronounced min ba'dihi. Min ba'dihi. Now let's pronounce that as it is in the Quran. Min ba'dihi. Min 
بعده من بعده من بعده من بعده من بعده very good so uh, let me ask a question um Feruz, how can you tell that there's a club here There's a ba after the nun sakina. Okay. And there's a small meme written on top of the nun. Okay. Very good. MashaAllah. Very good. Now that we've covered a nun as sakina with tanween, with uh, uh, ba, which gives us iqlab, we're going to look at tanween with iqlab. Now remember what we said tanween was. Tanween was a nun that you hear but you don't see. And the example we gave is. Muhammad. Muhammad with Tanween is pronounced Muhammadan or Muhammadin or Muhammadun. So whenever we have this Tanween, which has two marks, followed by a ba, we have iqlab. But you better, you better pay attention. Because in iqlab, one of the marks is thrown out and that little meme comes in as a substitute for it. Okay? So let's look at an example. Uh, the example we have is kiramin barara. This is how this word is usually pronounced. Kiramin barara. But in the Quran, because we have a noon, a tanween, followed by a ba, we say kiramin barara. Um, Ahmed, did you hear the iqlab there? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's look at another example, inshallah. Bal. This is usually pronounced Muhitun Bal. But because we have Tanween and we have a Ba, we say it Bal. Repeat after me. Bal. 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 Okay, uh, Usama, let me ask you, how do you know there's a club here? Because the uh, noon is changed to a half mean. Okay, let me ask you a question. Is there a noon sakina here or is there a tanween? Tanween. Good, right? Because if you look at that word, the, what's the last letter in that word? Muhit. Ta. Ta. Okay. So and then and then on so then that, that but I said muhitun, right? So that means that there's tanween. Okay? So how do you tell how do you know there's iqlab here? Because the ba. Good. Now remember what we said that the tanween has two marks? Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. Now in the case of iqlab, what happens is, is one of those marks gets thrown out or cancelled. And instead of that, you have that same meme. And that tells you that there's a club here. Okay? You see that meme? Yes. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Let's move on to our next example. Uh, this next example is usually pronounced لَنَسْفَعَنْ بِالنَّاصِيَةِ That is outside of the Qur'an. If you, were, if you came across this you know, in a newspaper or a magazine, you would say لَنَسْفَعَنْ بِالنَّاصِيَةِ But in the Qur'an we say Repeat after me. Okay, uh, that's very good. Um, now let's uh, ask some questions to make sure that this rule uh, is down. Let me ask you a question, um, Feiruz. Uh, tell me what rule. Tell me uh, if this rule is iqlab or not. An amta. No, it's not iqlab. It's not iqlab. But is there a nun sakina there? Yeah, there's a nun sakina. Okay, but why isn't it iqlab? You got a nun there, a nun yeah. sakina. Because after the nun, it's a ain. Okay, it's not good. But. Exactly. So for our rule, there has to be a ba yes. coming after it. Very good. Uh, let me ask uh, another question. Um, Ahmed. Okay. Uh, what rule is that? Um, 
Iqlab. Mm -hmm. How did you know? Because uh, there's a ba. Exactly. After the... Exactly. And that's, that's the letter that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now uh, to recap all of this. As we said, um, if you have a nun sakina followed a, by a ba, or a tenwin followed by a ba, uh, the, the nun is changed and it becomes a half meme that is elongated for about two instances. And inshallah, we're going to be working on other uh, ahkam as we uh, come to them in, in the future, inshallah. Uh, we're very happy that you are with us today, and inshallah, we look forward to seeing you next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.